one bedroom. And some of them are, are like lost. Yeah, a lot of them. So they have a lot of, um, like that. Yeah. Well, I got some of those right there, collard greens. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, I got some of those there, cut up and frozen. And this is the third year? This some, um, is this the third year for the garden? No, yes, third. third. Yeah. Yes. This right here is our community center right here. This is the, um, it used the to be the Orchard yeah. Gardens Community Center. Now it's the Boys and Girls Club. So what kind of activities take place there? They, um, after school it's program, after, uh -huh. camp, yep. summer programs. Is it the Orchard Gardens Boys and Girls Club? Nope, it's the Orchard Gardens Boys and Girls And right there, yeah, back there where all the sticks are, they actually got a grant. They're building oh, okay. a okay. Yeah. okay, um, yeah. let's see how we can say this. Orchard, um, this used to be Orchard Park. And I don't know how many of you all are familiar with the city of Boston. But back in, when I was coming up, it was, it was mixed. It was white and black. We lived here, went to school together and everything. Um, it was a divided community. I mean, most of the whites still lived on this side of the park, and most of the blacks lived on this side. But then you I had- I lived on that side. Then you had, <laughs> but then you had a mixture of both on each side. But the majority of the whites were on that side, the majority of the blacks were on this side. But you would find some mixed in. So it wasn't all white one side, all black the other side. We all went to school together. Um, and, uh, I would say the late 70s, early 80s, just, no, it was before that, before, but I would say late 60s started changing. Hmm. Well, the whole city started changing hmm. um, back then. Um, a lot of whites moved out, a lot of blacks yeah. moved out and moved like to the suburbs or wherever they went. Um, it is like the city gave up on the housing development. Hmm. And it just went by 75, 80, it was not many units left housed. They were here, but people weren't in them. They mm. were empty. Mm. And my sister Edna, and I'm going to show you her memorial, she um, and a few diehard residents that stayed um, kept fighting and fighting with the city. They finally got a Hope Six grant um, and got the money to redo this development, mm. which they did. And the first thing they wanted to do was make sure there was an acre of land for a school. Mm. Because back then they closed all the schools in this area. We had this school we hit, there was the Albert Palmer, the Aaron Davis. Aaron Davis was on this side, the Albert Palmer was over here. We had the Dearborn, we had the Mason. And what was the other one by Dudley? There was another elementary school that serviced this area. I don't know. But back in, in the 80s, all our kids, all our kids was bus. bus to 16 different schools yeah. from kindergarten to high school, mm. sick throughout the city. Mm. Um, and it was, it was really, really rough. Um, our kids didn't mind it too much. I, they just didn't get the choices they wanted. It wasn't so much getting on the bus mm. where the bus was going. Mm. <laughs> and because they didn't get the choices that they had. Right. Um, and I worked for the school department back then, so I was right in the middle of all that okay. busing. Um, and it was really rough for me because it divided the city. And I'm from the city, and it was never a division for me. So it was hard for me to all, all of a sudden hear white, black, white, black, white, black. And I'm saying, wait a minute, we all grew up together. What is this white, black? And one of the other things that really um, changed my way of thinking was when I worked for the school department over at Matt, they opened up um, like a um, Miniman school, a, tra a oh, trade yeah. in school over at Madison. That's what Madison first was. When I went over there, they bust everybody in from the city hmm. that wanted to learn to trade. And back then in the middle of busing, it wasn't black and white fighting. It was whites fighting from each turf, like Charlestown and Southie, the North End, they were fighting amongst themselves. It was really ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I, and, I, and the first time I saw it, I said, what are you kids fighting for? I can't stand them. He's a, and they called each other whatever names they, they used back then. <laughs> and I'm like, but you're both white. What are you fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it dawned on me it was a neighborhood thing and not so much a bus thing. Mm. It was a neighborhood thing. Mm. Um, and it really damaged a lot of families in the city. And I almost, I, after looking at it, I would say that they set the city up to fail. Hmm. That was their goal. 
Their goal was to set it up to fail. Why? Who knows? Um, so you, would you all like to just take a peek in the inside? Sure, yeah. Okay. This is fantastic background and context though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when when did that Hope Six grant and the development of It started in the early 90s. Hmm. They got it, it took a while, they got it, they had to get a contract. By 99, everybody just moved in. Yeah. And where did the group of people, so so many people left? The, the, okay, what happened was the yeah. families that were left, hmm. the ones they wanted to, to keep here, Yeah. they placed them in different, and they moved in, like moved in steps. So some of the families, they first did this, they didn't move them out of here. They uh -huh. moved some of the families in here yeah. that were going to stay. Interesting. And then when they did this phase, they moved some over there. Then yeah. when they did the townhouses, yeah. the ones that were really staying stayed this over right there. Here, and the, this right here, the school and the houses that are over here yeah. is the last phase. Yeah. Interesting. And so the new This is the first phase, and the ones that are uh -huh. over there are the second phase. Interesting. So by 99, because I was in the third phase. Um, so that's interesting because you'd moved away, but you had been here. So once the development ha redevelopment happened, did you then say, "Oh, I'm going back"? Or no, no. It was, it's, a, it's a long story. <laughs> I was in the old bricks before I moved back into the new development. I actually worked for them. I was a relocation specialist for them, mm -hmm. um, and I was the last to move, the very last to move because they mm -hmm. were working in my apartment. Interesting. That's where the office was, and um, that 99. Because I remember here. We, were, we had a deadline, so we was trying to get everybody moved in, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I was there through the, the, the process of um, taking the applications, yeah. doing the lottery, mm -hmm. um, all of that. Um, calling people for interviews, and yeah. I was through the, the whole so thing. So there was sort of old residents and then just new blood. There's a new bunch blood. of new residents. A, a, whole a lot, lot of residents took yeah. Section 8s and they yeah. just moved, moved on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, at, so. that, at that time, they were offering them a lot of things to move out of the city. And when you say they, so who was administering that process? Was that public housing? City of Boston? Public city housing of Boston. Boston. City of Boston. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. City of Boston. And, and and part of Boston Housing too. Yeah. But because then it was owned by Boston, Boston Housing. Boston Housing still they right. still own but the they land. They still own the land. Mm -hmm. But but they don't um, manage the properties. Private management. Private Trinity, management. Trinity um, Trinity um, financial manages it. Mm -hmm. And maybe you guys want to go in this later. But so then how does the residents association sort of? Because when, when part they owners. part of my sisters mm. and that group's thing was to make sure the residents had still had ownership and so we have like a one what's it one percent we have we have one percent owners of the development yeah. it's supposed to be in 15 years the resident association is supposed take to take over. take over interesting ah yeah so when but i don't do not see that happen. Ah. no time soon but now was that like a verbal contract or no, was that a, no, that's it's a written contract it's a written, it's written.